Okay, so we're going to do a quick uh, chat on uh, what's coming up in the next couple of videos. Next video I'm going to talk about is going to be about powder. Uh, and this comes from the fact that we lost a community member in solitude in Utah a week ago through an upside down inversion. He suffocated to death in powder. So powder is friend or foe. It will depend on how well you are prepared and how well you are not prepared. So I'm going to do one on that. I'm also going to do a video on beginners who pick a powder day to learn. We're going to talk about the cons. There are a few pros, but there are more cons when you pick a day with powder to learn any snow sport. So I want you guys to think about that. Then the last video that I'm going to do, we're going to clip this all out. There's going to be one on, well, let's face it, I'm not getting younger. So as we get older, because I'm in rehab for my knee now, I want to talk to you guys about how important it is to continue to stretch your body after a day on the slope. Because I'm paying for it now in the long term because I didn't continue to stretch as I went into my late 70s. So stretching is a must if you want to ride longevity for a long time with a bent knee type activity of skiing or boarding. I suggest that you look at stretching immediately after riding and stretching before riding. So I hope this works for you guys and uh, check it out because it's all coming.